I'm sure you followed the Busola Dakolo story. Oh yeah, definitely. Pastor Fatou Ibo stepping down. Yeah, friends. The role mm. Akangani has played, mm -hmm. and the whole saga basically. Yeah. I don't know if you read Omoni Boli's episode. That's what how I like to call it too. Oh, shit. you haven't seen oh, that. I haven't seen okay, that, so regardless, mm. what do you think is going on, or what do you think should be the right step? So when it comes to rape, it's a very very sensitive issue for me too. Uh, Wayne. You know, uh, so when when the issue came out, I, I had a conversation with, with my wife, and we were really sad about it. You know, uh, Timmy Dakolo and Misola Dakolo happens to be our friend. It happens to be our friend. So there is no way that she's lying. Mm. They can cover it up all they want, but there is no way that she's lying. It actually happened. And people take advantage of people all the time, but I feel like this is the time for us to actually stand up and start having a conversation. That was actually the key word, having a conversation, so that we can change the narrative mm. and protect our children, you know, both girls and boys, you know. Be careful about the kind of people that we put in our circle. I think it's just a way to just open people's eyes like, okay, things are really, really going down, you mm. know. I feel like if you rape someone, you should be prosecuted. Mm. It's, it does not matter whether you're a pastor or you are not a pastor. It does not matter. Mm. You did the crime, you have to do the time. Yeah, true. Okay, very, what very do you important. think about how we Christians in this part of the world hold our pastors accountable? We are, the problem, the problem okay. is that, so I'm going to, oh, I'm a Jesus boy, but I'm not a church. I'm not, I'm not a religious person. Mm. I've been saying I'm a Jesus boy, which means, which means I have a personal relationship with, with Jesus. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not preaching church. I'm not holding up to a pastor. Mm. Do you understand? I know my God for me, and that has always been our problem. I think for us growing up, our parents, Obudo lost his church, lost and I did. <laughs> you know, I did. But that was what they knew. You know, at the time. You know, I can't blame them. You know, uh, we idolize our pastors. That did you? You know, it doesn't make sense. Mm. To me, it does not make sense. You know, they are human beings too. They are flesh and blood. If they are not human beings, okay, they are angels, blah, blah, blah. but they are human beings just like us. Mm. They just have, you know, a higher spiritual calling. But right now, in, in, the, in the era of the New Testament, everybody has a, a gateway yeah. straight to Jesus mm. by yourself. You just talk to him. He will listen. So I feel like we need to change our mentality about religion, religion. and have a personal relationship. Know your God for yourself. Read your Bible. Pray for you. And understand. You'll be fine. And understand. You'll be fine. All right. I see.